Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Birdman Studios, and as most of you know, I am a software engineer. I love, I love to write code, I love to make games, I love to program. The logic, the thinking, the science behind it, I just love it. What many of you don't know is that I started off as an artist. I was an animator when I went to school, or at least I went to school for animation. And I wanted to become better and better at drawing, and uh, then I found programming and got astray. So I'm not as good as I wish I was or what I could have probably been by this point. But I like to practice and, and do stuff, and I know there's a lot of programmers out there who want to do art. So with that, I bring you my new series, um, How Not to Draw Anime. Because, as you know, all programmers, if they try to draw, it's going to be anime. And I wanted to bring away from that because anime is not really looked good upon in at least the American professional standards. Um, when you take, can take a character and change out its hair and it becomes a completely different character or a completely different gender, that just means that you have a mannequin and you don't really have a character. Uh, they do that because it's cheap and easy for them to produce uh, lots of um, seemingly high quality things uh, for anime and they make lots of money off of it because of uh, it's not that expensive to produce something like that as you would think. So with that I wanted to digress and go into um, kind of just uh, some drawing stuff. So the first thing I do, I have here a character from my newest game that's going to be coming out with my studio. Um, it doesn't really have a name yet, but our newest game, Word Lab. And we have a character in there, and I did all the paintings for our loading screens. And this is one of the paintings, um, if you can't see. It's just him throwing up some, some confetti in the air, uh, all happily. So I want to kind of go over, um, this is very cartoony, and whenever I drew uh, or practiced drawing and studied, I didn't really like cartoony, and I tended to try to go more toward realistic. So I found ways of getting around uh, using realistic to make cartoony stuff, and with that I'll show you how I got this guy's character and popping out like that. So the first thing I started off with was my action line. So I have this line here of action. Let me just move him off to the corner there. I have this line of action. Not that much. I love to make it more dramatic. i got to keep going until I find it. That's good enough. So I have this action line of popping out. And so from there, I kind of do a circular motion to um, bring in some forms as if it was his head or his chest area to get it really kind of to his proportions. And with our character, his arms are a little bit strange. They kind of come out of his neck here. So let's draw a line for his arm here, popping out, and then another line saying, yeah, popping out maybe a little bit more this way, like he's tossing stuff out. So with that, I do these circles here, which give me a idea. I can see it in my head. I can get this idea of form kind of coming out of it. So now I can feel the form of this character. And now when I start drawing in some key lines, I can really pop him out. Get his. I know his character has some kind of fat arms. Um, he has this, this uh, awesome lab coat. And this arm's facing us, so I like to take this circle here and make it look like it's facing us there. And he has this awesome lab coat that's hanging off of him. Uh, let's draw in a little bit of his lab coat. Comes in pops out with a little collar there. There's his collar. And uh, let's bring this arm back a little bit. He's really throwing back all this confetti. Uh, this arm looks a little bit off. I want him to be more like woohoo, so maybe we can make it go in this direction up here. I'm going to draw that line to preserve where I want it to be. And he's throwing stuff back, so let's draw our circles. Oh, I hate when that happens. To kind of go up and now let's draw his arms coming down into his lab coat which is going to be hanging off of him ever so slightly and into the box so let's just draw our little box here how did I have it? he's on the corner so let's say this is the corner of the box coming in and cutting him off so now we have this character here uh, pseudo lined out so you got a little bit of his line kind of going up here. We can probably make this come down more in a coat fashion. It doesn't wrap around your body like that. 
And we can draw his eyes to make him see where he's looking. He's looking up. He's going, yay. I just love this game. It's incredible. So there he is. He's popping out of the box. So you can see here that I have got the basic form for my character. And that's how I like to sketch out really quick before I, this is going to be a longer box, before I start uh, actually uh, drawing. What, I'm, what I would do after this is I would take another layer and I would layer over him a, a new sketch. Uh, I would fade the opacity of this guy down. I would drop in a new layer, bring down my line, and start seeing how he feels uh, kind of lined in. So that's what I would do next. Uh, he has a lab coat on this side also. Kind of just throwing back some confetti. Come in with his arm, his jacket, popping out his collar there, and uh, let's draw in this line there, get the edge of his head. And I like to break up my drawings, kind of breaking out the silhouette is always good. So if we can take his eyes and pop one up here looking out, you kind of break the form of the silhouette and it becomes interesting. Uh, and that's something you always want to do with your silhouette is make it interesting. So you can see his eyes are up here, he's popping out. Sorry about the crudeness of this sketch, but I'm just trying to get my point across on kind of the major ways of drawing. You can see that this eye is all messed up. Major ways of my drawing. Let me correct that. So I'm just going to undo until I get the right angle for this eye or this part of his goggles. Now he's really looking up and popping out. So now I have a quick sketch. I can color in, I can modify it, but now I have a pretty nice quick sketch of the character. Um, you can see this one's a little cuter and everything. But now you can see um, I just have this quick sketch of allowing me to, that is allowing me to see what my final product is going to be and then I can iterate until I like it. So with that, I hope you liked it. That's how I do some of my drawings and um, I hope I improve and I hope this helps you out. So until next time.